this video let us see how to form the question tag when the sentence is complex com complex sentence here there are two complex sentences you would come if i needed help i think i am right In the first sentence this is the main clause you would come subordinate clause if i needed help so in this case we will form the question tag of main clause that's the rule if there is a main clause we have to form the question tag of the main clause so in this case question tag is wouldn't you It's a positive sentence, so question tag is negative. You would come if I needed help, wouldn't you? Now in the second sentence, uh, this is the main clause. I think I am right. This is the subordinate clause. In the first sentence, we form the question tag of main clause, but in the second sentence, we have to form the question tag of uh, subordinate clause. So if you are taking the main clause, a question tag is don't I. If you are taking the question tag of subordinate clause, question tag is aren't I. Here we have to form the question tag of subordinate clause, aren't I. The rule is, if verbs like think, hope, suppose, feel, imagine, expect, believe, which show the feeling or a mental state of the person who is speaking, we have to use the question tag of subordinate clause. So here, think is used to with I. So when these verbs are used with the subject I, V, we have to form the question tag of subordinate clause. In this sentence, the verb think is used to with I. So that's why we are using the question tag of subordinate clause. Now, Let's see the imperative sentences. Uh, bring me a blanket. So it's an imperative sentence. In this case, question tag is will you? In imperative sentences, we can use the question tag will you except sentences starting with letters so in this case we can say want you also bring me a blanket will you then next sentence you see say negative imperative sentence don't make any noise so the only auxiliary verb used in imperative sentences do so this is a negative sentence then question tag is will you so in negative imperative sentence the question tag used is will you so here you cannot say won't you don't make any noise will you now the sentence bring your books so here you can use will you Or you can use won't you. In an imperative sentence, you can either use will you or won't you. Bring your books, will you? Or you can use won't you. Shut your mouth. It's an imperative sentence. Then question tag to be used is con 
due. Or you can use won't do to express your anger or irritation. You can use can't you shut your mouth, can't you keep quiet? So you can use can't you. So, in the case of imperative sentence, this is how to form the question tag keep quiet, can't you. Have a nice journey. Will you? Pass on the message soon. Will you? Here you can use won't you also. Either will you or won't you. Pass on the message soon, will you? Or you can say, won't you? But this is a negative sentence, negative imperative sentence. In that case, you can use only will you. Here you cannot use uh, won't you. The only question tag used with a negative imperative sentence is will you. Then only auxiliary verb used in the imperative sentence is do. Don't make any noise will you have a cup of coffee so seeing this verb we cannot say have in due it's an imperative sentence so imperative sentence rule is different have another cup of coffee in this case question tag is will you But here, another invitation. Let us have a cup of coffee. So here, person is inviting. Then he, uh, here, question tag is, shall we? Because here, person who is inviting is included. Let us. So shall we? Here, will you have another cup of coffee? will you so here let us have a cup of coffee so question tag is shall we now these two sentences you see this is a short form of had would here it is you had better study hindi so but here it is you would rather so in this case question tag is Had, hadn't you, hadn't you, you had better study Hindi. So the, here is a uh, short form of had. So you had better study Hindi, hadn't you. So positive sentence, so negative question tag, hadn't you. Here. You would rather go now than tomorrow. Here, the short form of would. So, positive sentence. So, question tag is, wouldn't you? You are too young to marry her. So, the meaning is negative. So it's a negative sentence, but there is no negative word. So the question tag to be used is aren't you? Aren't you? So yes, a negative sentence meaning is negative. You are too young to marry her. You are so young that you cannot marry her. That's a negative meaning, but there is no negative word in this. So question tag is aren't you? Similarly, in this sentence, she is unable to help you. So it's a negative, unable, but negative word to be noticed is a not, 
hardly scarcely but this uh, prefix is not included in the uh, this is a negative sentence but the question uh, tag is uh, negative sentence question tag is to be a uh, positive but in this case isn't she is in isn't isn't she so because this uh, prefix is not included in that negative words so she is unable to help you isn't she so generally negative sentence positive tag but in this uh, un this prefix is not uh, considered so in the she is unable to help you question tag is isn't she